What up, YouTube? Big Lou with Big Lou East Coast Review. Today we're here to demonstrate two methods on cleaning a copper mech mod. Now, what I've got is I've got my uh, Manhattan clone. All right, it's the uh, the AR Manhattan clone, not the Foo Hatton, but it is a copper tube. You can see it is a tube and it is copper on the inside. Okay, and I got it in a Ziploc baggie. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an old school down south method of cleaning copper. Now the old school down south method of cleaning copper is by using ketchup. Now the reason why I got this idea, I got this idea from a moonshine distillery down south. They use, uh, now the moonshine distillery, their, uh, their actual tank that they make, you know, uh, moonshine from is made of copper, solid copper. And, um, you know, it, it gets, you know, ruined on the inside. It gets patinaed on the inside of that big ass, uh, moonshine drum. So what they do is they take literally a mop, like a mop you mop the floor with, but not a dirty one. Obviously it's going to be a clean mop. They take a mop and they brush ketchup all over on the inside of this big copper drum. And, um, you know, there's always heat being introduced to these copper drums when they do the moonshine, you know, and then the vapor comes up, goes through a tube, and it comes out as, you know, alcohol, you know, whatever it is that they're distilling, okay, and uh, there's a process to it, but the copper always gets ruined, so what they do is they take ketchup on a mop, and they mop the inside of their uh, distillery drum to make it shine and clean, and to remove any impurities, because they're drinking moonshine, they don't want to be tasting, like, chemical cleaners that go on the on the copper so what we're going to do is we're going to use a ketchup cleanse okay i'm going to fill this bag with ketchup i'm going to get it all over the tube and everything and i'm going to let it sit for three hours now this video is not going to be three hours long but that is going to be cleaned in ketchup then as far as the switch the button and the 510 connect and so forth i took it apart took my magnets out and everything i'm going to be cleaning this with a chemical that's used for cleaning copper and I, I've never used it so I'm gonna try it first time for this video so we're gonna try uh, a home a home way of cleaning a more natural way using a fruit like tomatoes and ketchup and so forth so we're gonna see how well the ketchup does on this and how well the cleanser does on these copper pieces but so we got our ketchup so here we go you're gonna see me fill it up you know I'm not crazy and there we go okay a lot of fucking ketchup which by the way i hate ketchup just so you know i'm not a fan of ketchup i prefer mustard over ketchup but mustard here's the funny thing mustard is used to patina copper and brass and so forth and a lot of people when they do their you know their uh ammonia and salt patinas on their copper mods or brass mods they do mustard and mustard does a really cool effect but ketchup cleanses so go figure so you know once you coat it I was told just rub the copper, you know, get it, get it going, and you'll start seeing it shine and blah blah blah. I mean, get the fuck out of here, no way, right? So, yeah, so I'm gonna let that sit for about a half hour. So we got our ketchup in there, cool. On with the chemical cleaner now, Goddard's. Okay, it says brass and copper polish cleans, shines, and protects in one easy step. Instantly dissolves tarnish, leaving a brilliant shine. Contains ammonia, avoid contact with eyes, prolonged contact with skin. In case of eye contact, flush with water. For sensitive skin or prolonged contact, wear rubber gloves. If irritation persists, call a physician. A bottom switch piece, right? But I'm just going to go ahead and put this on here. And rub it in. It says to rub it in and so forth, so let's uh, see what I can do to make it shine. See if we can get any of this tarnish off, any of this patina off. This is a natural patina, so let's see what we can do to clean it up. Oh shit, yeah, this shit is fucking irritant on the skin. Fuck. Woo! Okay, so what I had to do is I had to put my rag inside a plastic bag with my copper piece. Because even with the gloves, it was eating through my gloves. I mean, that's pretty crazy. So I used a Ziploc bag, which is pretty thick. Put the towel in there, and I'm just basically, you know, I got the poly I got this clen cleanser on it. And I'm just basically using the bag to uh, rub it along the um, the microfiber cloth, and I'm just trying to you know buff it and polish it in here on the microfiber, basically. Okay, see if we can get a good shine coming out of it. But uh, I did have an instant contact with my skin initially 
when I put it on the on the switch and I was holding it through the towel, some of the chemical went through the towel and it was instantly burning my hands. So I, I rushed off to wash my hands real quick. So if you do uh, this process using Goddard, uh, definitely use a thicker gauge, uh, like kind of like maybe uh, a, a kitchen sink type of rubber gloves, the ones that go all the way up the elbows. I would use those because I don't think it's going to penetrate that. I was using nitrile gloves, which are like, you know, surgeon's gloves, those blue ones. But um, too thin, it ate right through it. So that's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it's pretty corrosive, actually. But, you know, corrosive, not in a patina sense, but corrosive in a, cl a cleansing sense. So that's odd. So I'm going to clean off all of these with the chemical. And I'm just going to jump cut to the final product, okay? These are my switch pieces that are clean. The patina came off, but they're kind of dull looking. That chemical made it kind of dull kind of shiny not really um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just simply gonna take my polishing wheel on my dremel and i'm gonna see if i can try and polish it okay yeah unfortunately it's not doing anything um we're gonna have to hope and wait and see what the ketchup does okay so we're gonna see what happens to the ketchup now i went and washed the ketchup off my off my mod which it kind of smells a little bit like ketchup I tried washing it off as best as I could but I have to say something the chemical was strong and a little dangerous on my hands okay now my hands are still wet see they're still wet I just finished washing it in, in warm water okay now I'm just gonna give it a quick little little you know microfiber drying let me tell you something this fucking thing is shiny i mean shiny we did a clean with the uh with the chemical effort this is the switch now you can see the porousness of it now that was basically from a patina i did a while back i did an acid patina on it so you can see all the pores in the copper as well as on my mech itself the body of the mech mod itself you know there's uh it's very porous right and this one it didn't do such a great clean job you can still see there's some spots in there now this is awesome because you can actually see the marks of the patina ink that i did last time see those stripes that's the patina i did on it i did an acid patina on there a while back but look how fucking shiny this thing is this thing is super shiny it's like a it's just brilliant. It's really nice. Now watch. I'm going to take my switch, and which is the bottom, which is the top. Wait, let's see. Uh -huh. Yep, good luck with that. Right? I can't even tell anymore. I, I did this so much, I can't even tell. There's so many patinas on this. I have no idea where's the top and bottom. Okay. You can see the difference in color. The center is super shiny. But it looks darker simply because the body of this mech was patinaed. But it's super shiny. But the the top, the uh, 510 Connect and the Switch is basically lighter in color. Okay, it's lighter in color, but it's not shiny. The 510 and the Switch are not shiny. I mean, the 510 is kind of dull. You know, look at that. that. That's horrible. But look at the shine the ketchup did. That's crazy. There's no shine in the 510, but there is shine in the body. There's a slight shine over there. And keep in mind, the um, the switch and the 510, I also used the, um, the polishing wheel on the Dremel, and it still did nothing. So straight ketchup cleaned the body of this mech. This was brown. I mean, this was like dark brown, and now it's like super shiny chrome. Smells like ketchup a very little bit, but look how fucking shiny that shit is. That's just incredible. For, for me to you, YouTube, fuck the cleansers. Stay healthy. Stay natural. Go with ketchup. Peace.